demonstrate how I use the Taya Sui Sketches Pro app to help me to organize my sketch notes using layers. So to start out with, I have written my text and an outline of a picture using the black marker. The layers are up in this corner. I'm going to tap here. In Taya Sui, you get a background layer, which I typically put a grid in there. And then you have the option of three layers. And you can see on my top layer, I've done my writing and my drawing. I'm going to tap on the middle layer and let me show you some examples of how I would use the middle layer. First of all, I might want to put some highlighting underneath this text. And so I'm going to use the watercolor and I am going to just color underneath it. And what happens is it doesn't go over top of the text. The text stays black and it just goes into the background. If I decide I don't like how that looks, I can go into my eraser tool and simply erase it and it will not affect the text, which is really nice, especially if you notice that you've made a mistake and you can't go back and undo because you're too far along in the process. I also might end up going back up to this layer. Maybe I discovered a spelling mistake and now I can tap on the top layer and I can erase some of the top part without destroying the coloring that I've done. So I do find that to be very, very helpful. I also, let me go back to my middle layer, use it for coloring. So, and what's great about that, the black outline will stay on top. So I'm going to use my crayon tool and just color in with brown, but you can see that it goes underneath the black part. It doesn't cover up over top of it. Let me pick a green color and now I'm going to color over top of inside of that. And I'm going to be a little bit messy so I can do a little bit of fixing. But the color is underneath the black and now I can go in with my eraser tool and if I want I can erase those funny edges without it affecting the outline, which is really helpful. Um, let me go into my watercolor and I'm going to use my watercolor and turn it red and I can color in my apple. And again, the black stays on top. And if I go a little bit too big, I can go ahead and erase that. Let me show you one other thing that I like to do. I'm going to undo that in a minute and I'm going to go back up here and erase all of this color here. So this tool here in Taya Sui has different textures and shades that you can use for shapes. So I'm going to pick this one right here which is just um, a slightly transparent color and let me go ahead and use the blue color and what I'm going to simply do oops, is draw a box over top of where my text is and so what it does is it inserts a box underneath my text, but again, the text is going to be on the top layer so I can change or erase it. Let me show you another way I shade things in. I'm going to pick kind of a textured color and I'm going to change this back to my red. And now I can simply draw along the red outline here and it's going to make a shape that fills in the shape with a color, but it will not cover up the black outline. And so those are some ways that I use the layers. And then sometimes underneath it on the bottom layer, I will use that to add shadows as well. And that's my quick trick. Thank you.